Hello, cruel world. My name is Dr. Shaham Das. I'm a consultant, forensic psychiatrist. I assess mentally disordered offenders for a living so that you don't have to. So there's been quite a few high profile cases of police officers that have committed either violence or sexual assaults or both. There's Wayne Cousins, there's Adam Provan. So the question I'm gonna think about today is how common is it for police officers to have, to be dominating and controlling? I'm not just talking about offending, but in general, like, you know, controlling over their wives, over their families. And how much is a byproduct of the job or is it that people are attracted to the job? Now, it's no secret that there's a definite correlation between people who commit abuse and positions of authority. I personally don't think that the job itself makes men, and let's face it, it's, it's very commonly men, more dominating or controlling or violent. But I do think that some people with those natural personality tendencies might gravitate to that kind of job. Of course, I'm not saying everybody that's a police officer. I'm just saying that there is a small uh, pernicious proportion. And also in prison officers, so I've, I've worked as a psychiatrist in prison and a lot, not, by, not all by any means, please don't cancel me, but a significant proportion I think of, of prison officers are naturally aggressive. They kind of have this pent up frustration and anger. They're bullied at school, they're angry at the world and they take that job because they, they want to be able to you know, let out their tensions with violence. So there's an argument that these individuals, police officers, prison officers, become more desensitized to violence uh, throughout their career and that kind of contributes to them acting out. I think that is, I think that's possible, but I don't think it just happens to the average police officer or prison officer. I think it only happens to those who are predisposed to certain personality traits like a lack of empathy, uh, anger management problems, a fragile ego, so are easily kind of sensitive or insulted, and they feel entitled. So I think these are some of the complex psychological things that are all kind of layered uh, and intertwined that make people in authority be violent.